Welcome to Vietnam Journal, our daily English news bulletin on NetVet VTC10. I'm Anya speaking from Hanoi. Every day we'll bring you comprehensive and up-to-date information on Vietnam and following major stories on Sunday. World Bank continues to help Vietnam improve its infrastructure, energy and forestry. IBM has done on TD become smarter. And Vietnam seeking more world natural heritage recognition. The World Bank had just approved a total of 522 million US dollars in credits for the development of Vietnam's urban energy and forest sectors. This information was officially released on March 22 of 2012. The three operations approved include the Mekong Delta Region Urban Operating Project, the Second Power Sector Reform Development Policy Operation, and the Forest Sector Development Project Additional Financing. The first project will improve infrastructure and services for more than 1.5 million people in six cities in the Mekong Delta Region. The second operation will support Vietnam in implementing reforms in the power sector. The third project is aimed to promote sustainable smallholder plantation forestry to help raise rural income and to support biodiversity conservation across Vietnam's priority conservation areas. Da Nang City in central Vietnam had just won a grant from United States-based IBM's program named Smarter Cities Challenge. The funding is $400,000 US dollars. The U.S. company will dispatch its top experts to Da Nang to analyze and put forth recommendations to support successful growth, better delivery of municipal services, and more citizen engagement. Besides Da Nang, 32 other cities such as Nanjing of China and Chonburi of Thailand, among others, entered this list. The IBM Smarter Cities Challenge lands to a water total of 50 million US dollars worth of technology and services to 100 municipalities worldwide over the next three years. Last year, 24 cities earned IBM Smarter Cities Challenge grants. Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs in cooperation with the General Confederation of Italian Industry has held Asian Awareness Forum in Rome on March 22. The forum is a platform to raise Italian enterprises and investors' awareness of Asian. The forum helps to strengthen and deepen economic ties, trade and investment between ASEAN countries, with Italy in particular and the EU in general. Italy's exports to ASEAN markets have been growing rapidly, reaching nearly six billion US dollars. However, it accounts for only two percent of total exports from this country. At the forum, Vietnamese representative stated that Vietnam has favorable investment environment with stable socio-economic conditions. Vietnam hopes to be an attractive destination for foreign investors in general and the Italian ones in particular. Vietnam reported a trade deficit of 150 million US dollars in March, lifting the total figure in the first quarter to nearly 251 million US dollars. The trade deficit in the first three months were equal to 1.02% of the country's export revenue in the period. The deficits were relatively low thanks to export growth rates that remained high during the quarter. And now we'll review the major events over the past week. Vietnam and the United States signed a Memorandum of Understanding on a Low Emission Development Strategy in Hanoi on Wednesday. The MOU was signed by the U.S. Under Secretary of State Robert Holmes and the representative of Vietnam's Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. Accordingly, the U.S. will assist Vietnam in terms of technical training, experts in reducing greenhouse gases from energy, agricultural and forestry sectors. How to control the urbanization process in suburban areas is an urgent issue in Vietnam. This was one of the main topics discussed at the 9th France Vietnam Economic and Financial Forum. The event took place recently in Hanoi under the theme Sustainable Development of Suburban Areas in Vietnam. Germany-based Mass Munchen Group and its Vietnamese partners launched the second international exhibition on renewable energy, namely Enerexpo Vietnam 2012, in Hanoi on March the 21st. 
A German business delegation, including many companies in solar, wind, and biological power, joined the event and showed a great appetite for Vietnam's frontier market. Vietnam is aiming to increase the use of renewable energy up from 3% in 2010 to 5% by 2020 and 11% by 2050 of the country's total commercial energy consumption. Japanese Invested Zeon Manufacturing Limited Vietnam Company has been granted an investment certificate to build a facility in the Vietnam Singapore Industrial Park or VSIP in Vietnam's northern province of Haiphong. The factory will produce a wide range of metal products and equipment, including medical instruments, telecom products, and electronic items. It has a total registered capital of 25 million U.S. dollars. A manga exhibition was held at the Japan Foundation Center for Cultural Exchange in Vietnam on March the 21st. The event was entitled "Women and Manga: Connecting with Cultures Beyond Japan." The exhibition introduced many pictures extracted from manga comic books by leading female Japanese painters. The embassies of Italy in Hanoi officially launched the 2012 Italy. Vietnam Cultural Program on Wednesday. The program is a series of events designed to introduce different aspects of the Italian cultural to Vietnamese people. The first event this year is the contest entitled "Iso Sono Bellissima," which is aimed to honor the beauty of women. Hachikai Mimi, one of the promising young writers from Japan, joined a workshop upon an invitation of the Japan Foundation Center of Cultural Exchange in Vietnam on March the 20th. At the event, she hosted lectures on Japanese contemporary literature and poetry. Mimi talked about the similarities in contemporary literature and wordplay of the Vietnamese and the Japanese. Vietnam Journal. It's not just news; it's life in Vietnam. Welcome back to our news bulletin. Vietnam Salong Bay has been recognized twice by UNESCO as a World Cultural Heritage. Now, Chang An Eco Tourism Site in Vietnam's northern province of Ninh Bình is seeking UNESCO recognition in the mixed world heritage category, including natural and cultural values. Out of four criteria of UNESCO for this category, the natural beauty of this Hạt Long Bay inland has met the landscape beauty. A system of limestone layers and the huge carved caves also qualify to geomorphology criteria. The biological diversity of Chang An, with over 500 plant species and diversity of fauna, is also a key of criterion. The files of Chang An must be completed to submit to UNESCO in September 2013, before the official results in 2014. After 20 years, only 28 heritage sites all over the world have been recognized by UNESCO in this category. Vietnamese tourism company Saigon Tourists recently welcomed international luxury cruise ship Columbus, carrying 550 tourists and staffs. Mostly Germans attend support in Da Nang City. This is the second time that the vessel has come to Vietnam in 2012. After landing at Tien Sa Port, Saigon tourists launch an interesting program for tourists to explore some famous destinations in Da Nang. Columbus ship delegations also visited Gonis Ponagrap Tower, Long Sun Pagoda, among others in nearby Nha Trang City. Established. In 1975, Saigon Tourists is one of Vietnam's leading travel management companies. 
During the first quarter of 2012, Saigon tourists welcomed more than 140,320 visitors and ship crews coming from international big ships. Nong Village in the Vietnam's northern province of Hưng Yên is famous for its ancient communal house and pagoda. Let's follow our net with VTC10 reporter to explore this village. Located 30 kilometers to the east of Hanoi, Nong Village retains its ancient, rustic and simple beauty of the pure rural area. Coming to Nong Village, we cannot skip visiting Tham Giang communal house and Nong pagoda. These places are regarded one of historical relic sites that are kept intact in this village. Nong communal house is where Saint Tham Giang is worshipped, so it is called the Tham Giang communal house. According to the legend, the saint was the general under two Chung sisters and performed the great deeds in the fight against invaders. And after he died, he soul followed Lê Đại Hành to help him defeat Dong invaders. Thế các cô ạ, à, con cháu thấy rằng là khi mà đến làng mình là một cái làng cổ ấy, thì khi vào thăm đình mình ấy, thì thấy rằng là cháu thấy rằng là chung quanh đây thì những cái cột rồi là những cái bức hoành phi và kiến trúc của nó rất là cổ. Thì cháu không biết rằng là cái kiến trúc của cái ngôi đình của mình ấy, thì nó có theo một cái dạng chữ gì và như thế nào không ạ? Nó có cái đặc biệt là cái kiến trúc của nó ấy, toàn bằng gỗ lim và đá cho nên là chúng tôi giữ gìn bây giờ vẫn những cột gỗ lim. Nhất là phía bên uh, cửa đình ấy, là toàn bằng đá Thế thì mộng mẹo cũng rất là, là đẹp Thế thì, thì tôi phải để tự hào về cái ngôi đình Mà uh, nó có mãi với thời gian như thế Tam Giang Communal House and Nong Pagoda are the two oldest relic signs of Nong Village the pagoda was built under the post Lê dynasty. As the legend has it, before the pagoda was built, there had been a green pie forest here. Thus, the pagoda was named Linh Thông Cổ Tự. Cái gỗ chất liệu gỗ mà làm một cái 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 gian này. Ba số là li mi táo. Đến bây giờ mà nói thì là được là là thứ nhất là nhà nước, hai là đối với tỉnh rồi mà địa phương tức là ưu tiên để phát triển để làm sao để cái nơi này là cái nơi cái điểm hẹn của khách cảnh hương và cái kết hợp giữa đình và chùa thì nó thành một cái khu du lịch một cái quần thể du lịch. The ancient architecture is enough to imagine the long lasting history of the communal house with precious cultural and spiritual values. The story about the ancient known village has wrapped up our news bulletin for today. For comments and feedbacks, please send us an email to netvdaily at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.